Okay, so in the 50s, mm -hmm. so Dee Dee was born with the legal name of Dorothy, but you didn't like the name Dorothy, so you no. called her Dee Dee. And I believe we got that name from... My mother, Martha, darling. Well, my Dorothy mother, came from your mother. My dad had died, and my mother came to live with us. And she was despondent. And so uh, she worked. She worked downtown and worked with uh, and some neighbors of ours who had their own business. And um, so I thought, well, if I name the baby Dorothy, ugh, Dorothy, uh, maybe that'll cheer her up, you know. Uh -huh. So I thought, what can I call her then? I don't want Dorothy. So I said, okay, her name's going to be Dorothy, and we'll call her Dee Dee. And, we uh, actually named her, though. Huh? The three of us named her. We called her Dorothy Darling, remember? Yeah, that's and right. We had a D period, D period, and then it turned to yeah. D. So, that's where we came from? Because they, <coughs> they knew a Dee Dee when she was Well, no, I knew a, a Dee Dee. I knew a, de uh, a de I mean, maybe it just worked out in all these things. Like, my well, daughter's did. middle name is Marie, and there's like three different reasons for that. But, <laughs> no, that's, uh, so, the Dorothy name came from her mom, but we called her Dorothy Darling because we just thought she was the cutest thing yeah, ever. Yeah, she was cute. Like, so you, Pat, and Tom decided this, mm -hmm. that we'll call her Dorothy Darling. <laughs> but yeah, after so having, she started, I don't know who started it. She might have started it, but we, we called well, her, and that's where the name came from. We, well, then, maybe you started saying Dorothy Darling, and then we said we had to call it D.D., whatever, but yeah. it all came from... It's okay, all so came to you, D. that's what it meant. Yeah, yeah. then oh, I okay. started calling her D.D. And then we had D. D. Here and, so here, and then we just put the E's in somehow. somehow what was her middle name? Mm -hmm. what, was, what was her middle Dorothy name? Jane. Jane. Oh, that's right, because it would have been D.J. Mm -hmm. That's why it never made sense to me. I'm like, what does the other D stand for? <laughs> now I know. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I was like, how do you get... Oh, D.J. would have been cute, oh, too. Like, how do you get Jack from John? Like, I... <laughs> well, Nicknames yeah, right. don't always she, make sense. She was so crazy about D.D., that uh, the, uh, she wanted everybody to come and see her. And yeah. so the teacher wrote me a note, and uh, she said, could we come at such and such a time, and then you hold the baby up at the window. So the ba she we wanted everybody to come street. and see her sister. We lived across the street from the school in Yorkfield. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So was Field trip. Diagonal, yeah. yeah. So you, you wanted to show off your baby like sister to your class. Yeah. Well, yeah. So she, I don't know. So she you brought the kids across the something. street. Yeah, she brought the kids across mm -hmm. the street, and I was waiting for them. Okay. And then I held the baby up. And you could see her. She, everybody had to pay attention. <laughs> How old is she at this point? <laughs> She's, what, seven? Yeah, You're a first just, grader? She was in first grade. So first grade. Seven, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. What was your teacher? Really seven, yeah. What was your teacher's name? Oh, yeah, because she was born. Oh, you kidding? She remembers stuff like that. I don't okay, know. what I was her teacher's name? I don't know. Okay. I, 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 uh, have my I don't remember. I think, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you were just like a scotch older than Elise is now. I was well, yeah, because you were born in April. Elise is a, a late first grader, so same class. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> yeah. so yeah, you were showing off your baby sister to your class as show and tell. Yeah, time. my birthday was two days before Didi. Yeah. Yeah. So I was showing her off. Okay, so you were like <coughs> six or seven? Seven. Just seven. Just turned seven. Seven. So Tom would have been five, mm -hmm. right? Am I getting the math yeah, right here? Yeah, he would have been not even in kindergarten. I think it was because his birthday, I can't remember. Oh, 50, <coughs> so his birthday is in January. Yeah, right. So oh, sure. I'm just thinking if he was in school. Kindergarten or not. No, there was not no kindergarten. because of the beer, yeah. Uh, we so. moved in the end of 52, and then in 53, he went into kindergarten. We didn't, there was no kindergarten in Yorkfield, because okay. they didn't oh, go yeah. to kindergarten. I went to kindergarten. Huh? I went to kindergarten in Yorkfield, I did. There was well, no what kindergarten. What was that thing I did with the milk and the whole sleeping on the floor? Well, what, that was first grade. It was first grade oh, then. Oh my goodness, what a weird first grade. I have no idea yeah. what you're talking about. Because we did all kinds of kindergarten stuff, I thought. I still oh, do. I think you're right, yeah. Yeah. It was a different was 52. Yeah. We had big, long tables mm -hmm. instead of sitting at desk. Oh. That was that At this was point, I would grade. trust her memory about your life more than yours. <laughs> but I thought that, that, that was getting her to just... This is like where I get it. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm like that. My wife and I have conversations like this where she's like, mm, no. I'm like... Because I, well, Whatever, I something really... I thought I remembered clearly, my wife's like, no, that's entirely no, that, wrong. That, I'm like, makes, that makes sense because... Apparently I, I'm making up half of my memories as I go. I didn't remember another <laughs> class at that school, and I remembered an early class at Lincoln, and you know, Lincoln, but I couldn't figure out why that would have been... Yeah. Okay. Pat was in uh, 
second grade, that was not and she was too young. Her brain wasn't as good at that. So that the teacher was well, ready was to retire. December, she was she was in second grade when she was in second grade. Um, so she said, "You know, if she was my child, I'd put her back." Now he says, "She said, here's her report card. She passed, mm -hmm. but she doesn't know some of the things she was doing. She did them automatically, no reason for it." Mm -hmm. And I said, "Okay, we'll put her back. No problem." I said, I, we, "This wouldn't be fair to put her ahead." So we did. So I waited, and I said, anybody say anything to you uh, about how's weather or what? I didn't want to come right out and say that. And uh, she says, no, we're having a good time. So no one said anything to her, you know, that, that making fun of her. And, oh, uh, when she, so when she did second grade twice she, then? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well. And she did much better because then she, it wasn't turned to this page, and then what am I going to do, evidently, what? You know, and she, it was much better. She knew then what she, what she, what yeah. she was doing. There are certain concepts that kids have to be ready to understand. Otherwise, right. You know, otherwise and she it wasn't becomes, before that. Yeah, just some kind of rote memorization without understanding. I get it. I went to college for that stuff. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> oh. Don't get me started on my college experience. <laughs> it's well, not, it's not a good one. Now they do all <clears throat> stuff. Yeah, well, you know, I'm, I'm training my daughter to be a snotty little know-it-all. <laughs> so she's... She'll be smarter than well, I am probably in another year or two. Preschool, pre-kindergarten, you know, I mean, so that kids yeah. have so much more advantage of learning early, which is the best thing. You know? They didn't have anything like that. And I'm teaching her to play video games. <laughs> okay, so Dorothy, a.k.a. Dee Dee, is born in 52. Mm -hmm. It'll be seven years before Larry is born. Mm -hmm. So in that seven years, Pat and Jan are both in high school. Wait. Yeah. No, junior high for me, high school for Pat. Um, you were in middle school when Larry was born. Oh, well, middle school. So you would have, yeah. well, you would have been 12. Hmm? You were 12 when he was born, right? Uh, yeah, I think yes. I was right. Well, you you turned 12 like the month after, like a week mm -hmm. later. Okay, okay. So so in that time, do you still not have a television throughout the 50s here? Are they not watching Howdy Doody? Yeah, we, uh, we Oh, did. yeah, yeah, we, we had a yeah, television did. then. Did you watch Howdy Doody? Yeah. Yes, and you had Miss Frances. Uh, okay, I can I remember. Frances, and she taught she manners. Good. Remember her? Oh, I mean, yes. Not too I remember the... Um, she was before Mr. Rogers. She was like... Yeah, I didn't pay like, attention to her, I guess. But there was house. another one that um, Tom liked. Wait, I have to tell you about Dee Dee. in the morning. Well, yes. Um, okay, Dee, I kept thinking, this child isn't responding the way she should. So I took her, when she was six weeks old, I okay. took her to the doctor. Mm -hmm. And I said, she falls asleep when she's eating. And then when she wakes up, I feed her again. And I, and I said, she's eating uh, every now and then. And uh, so I was really feeding her about six times a day. And so he, he I said, uh-oh, heart. And he said, I want you to go to Children's Hospital. And he, said, he called and made the appointment immediately. So I took her in, and, she said, and the head doctor was Dr. Gibson. And um, they checked her over, and he said, well, she should have surgery or she's not going to last. Hmm. And her heart was beating so fast that her little chest was swollen. Hmm. And um, so he, he says, but I have to tell you something. He says there's three things can happen. She can die immediately because of the heart. We can prolong her life till she's a teenager, or we could make it normal. He says you have to decide what you want to do. That's quite a thing to do to tell you. <laughs> yeah. So we went home and um, we prayed about it, told Grandma, and. Uh, she got her. She had some friends. It's a wonder the house didn't tremble when they, when they prayed, <laughs> boy. And so, uh, the whole church, uh, that she they left the doors open and anybody could come in and pray if they wanted to. I had neighbors, even my Catholic friends were praying for her. Hmm. So, we said, uh, so Lori and I decided, we have to give her a chance, otherwise she's going to die at. And that as a teenager, so we did it. And um, as we're waiting to see how things are, 
They we heard um, blue. What do they say? Blue. Code, blue. Code blue. Blue code. Code blue. And um, I thought, oh no! And there was another couple sitting there. Well, their daughter had had heart surgery, the which the Didi was getting. She was six, and uh, she died. And that's what they were calling, because she they waited too long. Didi was three. And couldn't walk. Remember, she could walk, but not very far. Then she would start panting, mm. and um, so we care. We carried her most of the time, and so uh, after the the surgery, the doctor that did it. Oh, they had to get a specialist from Northwestern to do it, which he did. It's Robert, Doctor Robert, I think it was Nelson, and so he came down and he said. Uh, Everything is fine. She's going to have a normal heart. He says, I can't believe what happened. And I said, what, what, do, you, what do you mean? He says, well, I started in there, and I thought, oh, no, I can't do anything. She's, she's going to die. And all of a sudden, it just went peaceful. He says, it beat normal. He says, we all looked at one another, thought, what is this? Well, then what it was was that they call it a patent ductus. When when a child is uh, born, the it automatically closes so it doesn't get because it's not feeding on the mother. Hers mm. stayed open. Right. And uh, I think that's called the uh, a hole in the heart. Yeah. So with that, she was. The, that's why the body was so mi mixed up. So uh, he says, you know, I said, well, there was much prayer for her today. I don't believe in God. And he said, and this happened. I said, well, that was prayer. He looked at me and says, well, it was something. And so I don't know whether he ever thought more about it or, or what, but uh, so she has a normal heart. So uh, that was that was a big strain, a big strain. I doubt it. Oh, what are you, what are you doing to your daughter? Is she going to live? Did you know you th you think did you do the right thing? So she was all right, and then when she came home, she she couldn't ride her little her, remember her little tricycle. Mm -hmm. She she couldn't ride it because it, it took too much energy. She says, "I want my bicycle," and so we went and got it, and she rode it all around the house, and she knew something happened because she she could walk and not mm -hmm. have to gasp. So, uh, and she then was, Jenny and Gil came in, and he was raising chihuahuas, chihuahuas yeah. then. <laughs> he brought her a chihuahua. That's all we needed. We had a dog. Let's see, who did we have then? Uh, buddy. But, but did we have Buddy, buddy the then? Second. And, what, uh, what kind of dog is Buddy? Hmm? What kind of dog was Buddy? A mix of Collie Shepherd. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Because the two dogs got along really well. They were both okay. great dogs. Yeah. So you, you had Buddy, and he brings you a chihuahua to no, give. No, that wasn't right, because we had sh the chihuahua before we had uh, that dog. But we had another dog. I know that. But Because when we got a Buddy, the, the, sh the German Shepherd, it was a big dog. Now, here's this little bitty chihuahua, the boss. He, okay. went, he, she, he went for a drink once. And she stood by it, and he's drooling. He wants water, and <laughs> she won't let him. She just sat in there. I said, "She, I said, go, she come here." So I picked her up, and it gobbled up all the water. So I thought, "Oh dear!" So I have to have two water things here. Mm. And uh, <laughs> she, but she would wherever he was going, she would go over there. This was her house, and you okay. don't do this to her. Mm. And uh, it was it was quite a month or so before she really accepted the the uh, dog coming in. So this dog is called Scochi. Scochi. Mm -hmm. That's Scochi. tiny in Japanese, Jap tiny. Japanese. Ah. <laughs> and so this dog was a gift from Bill, from, Uncle Bill, from Gil, to yeah. Dee Dee. Gil and Jenny. Mm -hmm. Okay. So she had heart surgery as a three year old. How mm -hmm. long was it like when? How long does it take to recover from that? Like within the year? She's she was in the hospital ten days, and then I brought her home, and she was weak, but she was she tried to walk. She did. She was going to do she everything. Was very tiny. Okay. And uh, she did. So, but so. like as a four-year-old, five-year-old, 
normal? Yeah. yeah. She, oh, wow. she, she was cut from here all the way. Oh, but imagine. they didn't put her shoulder back because this was, was higher than this one. But oh. I thought, the heck with that. She's okay. So, uh, and, the, and if you want to see it, it's in the Chicago Medical Library. The doctor says, if you want to see your daughter's surgery, I said, no oh, good way. Golly, no. no, I don't want to see it. <laughs> <sighs> Gosh, but they did that because it, the, this was a new, something new, and they really didn't know what they were going to get into. Huh. And okay. uh, so they wanted a, a picture of it, you know, to see and how she reacted. So they kept calling me and said, how is she doing? And uh, every month I get a call. And uh, then they would write that down. I said, perfectly normal. She's running. And he said, can she run? I said, yes, she can run. She rides her bike. And uh, so they, uh, they it's, uh, she's in the library. <laughs> So when Larry's born, she's seven. Mm -hmm. So up until that time, so as, as she's the youngest there, what is the dynamic then between mm -hmm. the four of them? So you've got three girls and a boy. Mm -hmm. So what's what's the dynamic between the children? Is one of them in charge? Does it I seem like no, not at all. You guys tricks are just... on each other. Uh, this did... one here, she oh, taught us. You were always teasing me and Pat like this that you had a spider and I'm yeah. afraid of spider. I mean. <laughs> And, but, yeah, always playing tricks on each other. And you, yeah. too, especially. And Dad was playing tricks at the table doing stuff. <laughs> so it was always fun, I think. Yeah. You know, just, so, uh, there was nobody in charge. There was nobody. So no, Pat didn't just they, they just all the behaved, no, that's all. Not at all. Really? Yeah. And how did Tom deal with the fact that he's the only boy there? Is he all right with it? Or? Uh, well, it was all right. They treated him right. And um, he, nice had, he had boyfriends. Well, let's see. Yeah. He didn't uh, play. He didn't like sports. Mm -hmm. He didn't. And no. Uh -uh. Okay. She did. Yeah. My mother liked sports. Mm -hmm. Tom did not. <laughs> well, we played. Ba he would join us in baseball. Yeah, he would play baseball and baseball. Well, I would we play sports, kids. but I mean, yeah, but that's I mean, because no one was playing video games. You got to go where the action is. Sure. Well, I taught <laughs> him how to throw a ball. I didn't want oh. him to throw like a girl. But Tom was <laughs> so. <laughs> so I showed him how to to throw a ball, and. Um, Play right, basketball. Played he baseball. played basketball. He built we had stuff. that up. Yeah, but yeah. he always built stuff. Yeah. Tom he was he much stuff. rather build something yeah, with his dad. Fun. Now okay. he knew how to take a, a lamp apart yeah. and fix it. He knew how to do different things that. Uh, so his when, father taught him how to do yeah. basic engineering around that. Yeah. yeah. That okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that makes sense. So. So that's what he would do for fun, is he would take things apart and put things together. Yeah, and read. All right. I mean, he's still, he's still a reader, so are you. Oh, I'm sure. They're all readers. Oh, yeah, because um, you, Grandma, your mom got me a book club membership. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All the Nancy Drew books, all horse books, all kinds of Yeah. Books. Oh, that was Party something boys. I wanted to ask. You said the kids were readers. Did either of you remember the books that they read growing up? You know, as my daughter gets older, my wife and I keep looking for books that well, are age-appropriate. Well, there was Nancy Drew series. Um, but you read to us when we were little. Well, yeah, but little then ones. you wrote read yeah. them when you got older. And uh, what were some of the... I don't know. I, Do you remember any of the books that you read to them? Like yeah, before yeah. they were Did capable of reading on the road? Did you read Little Black Sambo and some of those that are oh, probably... Oh, oh I have a copy of that somewhere. Sambo. I guess you can't do that anymore. You can't but get Sambo puppy. anymore. I know. <laughs> and I, I should have, have kept the one I had. Yeah. Well, you never know. Um, Pokey Little Puppy. Um, I have that one. Yeah, those were the ones that yeah. golden books. The little golden books. And Grandpa dropped his glasses once. Right, but that and was in the those. Um, die. That was in a child craft book. Child craft. Those are books that her. Were they yours when you were little or whatever? They no, came no. From? I just bought you them. You bought them for us. Oh, sorry, yeah. child craft. Dad's got books. those. I think yeah. it's child craft books that they're stories that go back from Hans Christian Andersen and stuff, and they're all in these books. There was yeah. several volumes, but yeah, used to read okay. all that to us. Mm -hmm. So she read to us a lot. So. Okay. Yeah. Did you did you read the Bible with them? Uh, like did I? At home? I don't Grandma did a lot. Grandma did. Or whenever we'd go over Grandma, Dad's mom, she lived a few blocks, so we'd stay overnight, and she would read always. She always. You read stuff from when we did Bible school on that. Yeah. Um, we did that stuff then. Bible school was two weeks at that time. During the summer. Well, and then so, we older, so I wasn't a teacher. Uh, I was a teacher of crafts okay. for junior high. 
And, uh, you know, our generation, mothers didn't really work. I mean, we were home because we, we took care of Bible school and Harvest Home. We did all the cooking for that. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we had a library, so we had to keep that in shape. We were busy. Then it was fun. Were you at uh, First Baptist Elmhurst at this time? Mm hmm. Okay. Did you ever go to any other churches or? Well, before I was married, I went to the Episcopal Church. Right. Yeah. But, but after you were married, when you. No. It was always First Baptist? It was always when First was Baptist. Baptist. Did the Crippins go there before you, you got married? Uh, Grandma did. Yeah. Okay. And that was Grandma's uh, before you the got church. You got straightened out when they went to the Baptist. What, hon? You got straightened out when you went to the Baptist. Church. I sure did. <laughs> yeah, no, I sure no, no. did. Teaching wrong theology. Well, so, all right, so to, to, to back up a little bit, the Crippins move into the house across the street. Mm -hmm. So do do they go to that church, or did they go somewhere else? No, no, no. Grandma went to that when they moved there. Before that, she was going to the oh, Lombard on. Gospel Her Church. Her grandma or who's? Uh, Lori's mother. His mother. Yeah. Went then, to, when, then when okay, they moved to Elmhurst, she went to the Baptist church. Um, Grandpa never went to church except I every now and then he'd go with Grandma. He wasn't saved. And, um, oh, no? She prayed for him, and uh, he was awful good to you kids and everything, but he just didn't want to go to church. And he, oh, that's a bunch of garbage and stuff. There must have been a reason for that. Yeah, well, you don't know. Know. So there must we, have been a reason for that. Yeah. Was he the one who had a heart attack painting flagpoles or something? Did he what? Somebody yeah, who, he would died on a flagpole. Okay, t yeah. fill me in on the details of that because I don't remember. First of all, was that his job? He was a flagpole he was painter? A, he was a steeplejack. Steeplejack. Mm -hmm. And then the boys, when they were 12 or 10 or something, he started them working. And so they all worked for him. In what Chicago? exactly is steeplejacking? And What? I've got a couple of pictures of them in tall buildings in Chicago. I've, I've seen the pictures. I just didn't remember. Yeah. What, what yeah, is I a steeplejack like, exactly? Yeah. The only thing I my head is like, that's something to do with being on top of the building. But right. what, <laughs> what did he do exactly? He uh, was across buildings? the... Uh, was it like a carpenter? Tower uh, in... Uh, on What was it? Tribune Tower. Oh, Tribune Tower, yeah. Yeah, Tribune Tower. On the very top roof, there's a pole. I don't know. It must have been a flag on it. And he was laying across the big ball up there. So huh. he was a daredevil. He okay. had a motorcycle when he was younger. Oh, yeah? Like, oh, literally? Yeah. Okay. Grandma said, I never went on it with them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, he walked around on the roof and stuff. Yeah. I didn't get so that that's, from him. Your father's father was the steeplejack. Yeah. Now, when did... When did he die? Because, like, I heard that story, but where does that fit in the timeline? He died at, uh, what was he, 66, I think he was. He, we were over there uh, the last week of his death, you know, and uh, he kept claim, com, uh, complaining his left arm I hurt or be pained, but that's the heart. Right, right. And uh, we, I said, well, listen, I'll take you to the doctor. And uh, he said, I don't have a doctor. I said, that's all right. I'll make an appointment with my doctor. And he said, no, I don't want to go. And uh, I said, well, why don't you just have it checked? No. Nope. And uh, he wouldn't go. I said, I could make an appointment. No. Nope. Mm. No, he wouldn't go. Well, that's what took him. What, and, uh, what year was that, roughly? No. Let's see, who was I expecting? Um, I was around. You were 10, around. So 50. Was was Dee Dee there? In, uh, 53, uh, was 54, I, somewhere in there. I, have a, I think, uh, no, I, I must have been article. 52. I must have been expecting Dee Dee, Could I think. Been, yeah. yeah. So that would be okay. 52. Somewhere around 52 to 53, somewhere there. All right, so was Dee Dee a reader, too, as a kid? <clears throat> Not as much, but was she did. Yes, yeah, she read. Dee Dee. Dee Dee. When she was a kid, did she like reading books? Because um, apparently yeah, you all grew up did. reading books. Well, um, she she liked them to read to her. I think, well, she, okay. Yeah. Do you remember? Yeah. You would all read all these. and. Uh, now, the, did she follow one of the other kids into their interests? Like, was she into sports oh, like her mother? She, or? No, she wasn't into sports. 
She uh, did she collect spiders? I or? took her no. shopping and I took her places. And no, she she too. was a reader. She more or less followed Jan. Okay. Jan was the one that she. My mini uh, me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, even as adults. So. No. And okay. uh, she she came. Away. She went to kindergarten, and one day she was late for lunch, so I went out looking for her, and I saw her coming down crying. I thought, oh my heaven! So I ran down to her and picked her up. I said, what happened? She says. I got no heart, and I said, "What?" And she said, "I've got no heart." And so I took her. I said, "Now, let's start from the, what? What do you mean?" She said, "Well, in the Sunday school, uh, Vivian Morrison was her Sunday school teacher. But she said, Mrs. Morrison said, do you take Didi? You take Jesus in your heart, and you'll have him all your life if you love him.'" And she says, I got no heart to put Jesus in. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> I started to cry. So. I said, oh, my heavens. I said, honey, you had heart surgery. Just fixing some things. You have heart. <laughs> and but she, she thought said, it had been removed. I do. Yeah, because surgery, surgery means removing right. something. Right. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, sure. so she finally, I convinced her she had a heart. <laughs> I said, you ask your, your sisters. Yeah, ten They'll tell you, too. And your dad. She was five? Oh. Was so I called uh, Vivian and I said, thank you. I said, uh, she, uh, I told her the story. She says, oh my heavens. She says, I'll talk to her at Sunday, in Sunday school too. And uh, I said, yes, reassure her. I, she said, she's been living with the thought that she had no heart. You know, when she heard she had heart surgery, what would you think? Right. Oh. I'll never forget that. When we were little, we went over to Grandma's all the time to stay overnight. Mm -hmm. and she had a really unusual house. Do you remember some of the people that rented from her? There was a couple. Well, there were, they were older than you guys. Do you no, remember I don't remember them, really. Mm -mm. I'll have to tell you that story sometime. There was well, did you a man and his wife. You don't remember them? No. They were there a very short time. So tell, tell your daughter about this. Um, I was 10, and Mary Ellen and I came over, uh -huh. and he had just gotten a new... He was strange, and she was strange, but um, I thought, because they lived in Grandma's house, they were okay. Yeah. He had a new convertible, and he said, you want to take a ride? Oh. And so we just got in. Well, I figured a ride was around the block, and he just kept going and going and going, and then he stopped and parked in this alley and turned off the car, and both Mary Ellen and I started... You know, getting freaking oh. out and everything. And then when we came home, we he finally got convinced or whatever. Um, I don't think we even told anybody we were going. When we came home, Dad was standing in the drive, like in the street, yeah. like this. Yeah. And here's the driveway. And I remember thinking that he's Superman, that no, everything's okay. I'm, <laughs> you know, I'm safe. And he just told us to go in the house. And um, I think the next day they were gone. Yeah. <laughs> I think your father kicked him out. Oh, yeah. 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 He, but I'm sure, but I never knew. I, I thought, oh, I hope he doesn't start a fight. <laughs> and, but I, I guess I figured, I would never take a ride with somebody, I no, guess. But no. I figured he lived with yeah. Thomas House, oh, and he never... I had forgotten he about wasn't. that. Oh, yeah. and if I had, that was terrible. If I had been with my friend, I wonder if I was still gone. I think I would have, yeah. Oh. So... Not, not a good thing to do. We have made it a, a periodic thing to remind Elise that there are bad people. Yeah. And to make sure it's that we to, know where she yeah, is all the it's time. It's hard to know because, yeah. Yeah, you don't want to be like, hey, there's bad people everywhere. Be scared yeah, right. all the time. But <laughs> like, you also don't want her to be like, hey, trust everyone because yeah. there are bad people. <clears throat> so we're, yeah. we're trying to do that, that balancing yeah. act. Yeah, I, I, I generally, I like, if Elise asks me something, I don't lie to her. I'll just tell her to answer. If I, I know, think she'll understand that. it. That's good. Yeah, she, right. That's why she's so smart. Yeah. She yeah. asks a lot of good questions, i got to say. She does. As, <laughs> as a four-year-old child, we'll be listening to a song on the radio, and she'd go, what's this song about? And I'm like, yeah. I didn't ask that until I was in my 20s. And yeah. <laughs> probably because somebody else asked me, and I was like, I never thought about what songs mean. I just sing along. Yeah, she's always asked really good questions. Oh. My daughter's smarter than me, apparently. <laughs> yeah. um, okay, so... Again, to, to circle back, so my mother was into sports, Pat was into collecting animals, Tom was into bugs. Fix, bugs. building, bugs. fixing. Tom was into fixing things. What was Dee Dee into? What was her thing? <sighs> uh, trying to get anything? people to come to Sunday school and prayer, and, and praying with them. She oh, had yeah? all the kids her, her age there. Uh, she, she'd say, we're going to talk about Jesus now. And uh, that's that's... 
what he what she did. The la- one of the ladies complained to me. She says she's always wanting to talk about Jesus, and uh, I said, well, she wants them to have her Jesus, and and uh, she always m- mentioned the heart mm. that she said because see, Dee Dee thought she didn't have one, and uh, see, nowadays you get kicked out. Then when she was at at Cal in. Uh, Young People's Club, what do they call it? Afterglow, she invited uh, some high school kids with her. And then Terry um, Allardo, she said, you know that uh, when Joan, when they moved there, Joan was a sophomore in, uh, uh, in high school, she, it was Dee Dee that invited her to church and uh, come to her house and they could have a prayer meeting or talk about the Bible. Mm-hmm. I mean, she was always into that. That was... That was Dee Dee. She and was an evangelist. When, when she died, uh, she married an Italian, and they were all Catholic. Mm-hmm. Mike was going to church with her. And um, two of the aunts came up, and she said, you know, she always told us we should read her Bible, and uh, she would help if, if we needed help. She said, you know, I'm going to start reading my Bible. And she said, I missed her. And she was, they would speak Italian, she says she knew they were talking about her, but she was learning. Uh, she was learning Italian, okay. and she could catch some of the things that she, they were saying. It was always, "Oh, there's Bible girl again." <laughs> so that was Dee. Dee. Wow. wow, that's remarkable. I think that says a lot about you and my grandfather that you have kids that had that kind of heart and attitude. You know that. There's, there's a whole lot of kids who grew up at this time who just kind of abandoned the church or just oh. had that sort of you know, cultural no, they, Christianity. They but. had to go to church, and then they, they wanted to. But Dee Dee, or Janice, went, or Patsy, when she started dating, one morning I went in to wake them up. We used to go to 8.30, was it 8.30 service? Man, we don't in even the have morning. any time. Um, first and, service, uh, I always went to the first. The first one... And then there was an 11, the Sunday school in between. Mm. And That's um, right. I went in and woke a Patsy up. She said, I'm just too tired of not going today. I said, oh, okay, uh, tell Richard you can't go out Saturday. And with that, I swung the door. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty soon, guess who'll come down dressed and ready to go? <laughs> <laughs> yes, she always did that to us. And we had to cancel your dates or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Yeah. you got to have your priorities. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, it worked. That was it. Okay, so in 1959, mm-hmm. Larry is born. Mm-hmm. Now, did you intend to have five kids? That was something I didn't mean to ask. When you got married, did you have any idea of how many kids you wanted? Did you have that conversation? Uh, no, but I knew I wanted quite a few because there was only my brother and I, and I always wanted a sister, and he said he always wanted a brother. And I said, well, I'm going to make sure I have that. Mm-hmm. So I had two girls, then I had... Uh, Tom, and I thought, oh no, we could, uh, I have to get another one now. <laughs> so, so then we had Dee Dee, and uh, of course she was a girl. I thought, oh dear, it's too late <laughs> now. But t- Tom is twelve, and I got uh, then I got mm-hmm. pregnant with Larry. Well, but he had, when he was born, Tom was twelve, but that wasn't it. I didn't space them the way they should have been. It's hard to make. But it's hard to plan that. Same so. personality, same sense of humor, that's for sure. Tom and Larry, if you get them together, forget it. It, yeah. it runs in the family, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so funny. And then uh, yeah. I uh, I thought, well, now I have to have somebody for G- for Larry. Well, I never got pregnant again. So otherwise I, I would have liked sports. another one. Okay. So d- did you intend to have kids, or did you, it come as a surprise every time? The first one was very a surprise. Okay. Because I thought... Uh, my goodness, what am I going to do? I was in the service. <laughs> and uh, I don't know how to take care of a baby. And uh, so I started reading. And, uh, and oh, then we got to Roswell. That from Merced, we were sent to Roswell in October, and she was born in December. And the, the squadron that I that was with, the girls, we were all very friendly and close and uh, Lori always said, I'm going to have a girl. She's going to have brown curly hair, brown eyes, mm-hmm. and she's going to look like her mother. And so uh, he, uh, so no, uh, the fellas decided they didn't want to be near him because all he talked about was having his baby. <laughs> <laughs> 
And so I said, you know, it could be a boy. He said, no, no, it's a girl. But they had a shower for me, and it's in her baby book. Everything was for a girl. And she did have it. We did have a girl. Well, then he said, you know, we ought to have a, she ought to have a sister. I said, yes, I wanted another one for her. And so we had Jan. I thought, don't talk to anybody about it, please. <laughs> and so <laughs> so she was born, and uh, the, then I had the two. And I thought, well, look, and he said, you know, we ought to have a son. I said, yeah, we'll have one someday. Well, he was trying to get a job and everything, you know, so. But we had Tom. Well, so. remind me, I, uh, oh, I looked into this. The mm -hmm. Patsy Ann doll, that was a thing. Like, that was a genre of toy. It was a particular, like Popsicle, it's a brand name, but it's also a genre. Patsy Ann is, if you Google Patsy Ann, you will find antique dealers selling the Patsy Ann doll. That's right. Yeah, so it's about me, so big. Right, you told me that she was named yeah. after a doll. So mm -hmm. I got online and looked for it. Mm -hmm. And there's a whole field of this, like this this little subgenre of antique toy. Oh, there was really? a Patsy really? Ann doll company, but then it, would be, it was so popular, it became a Patsy Ann doll style that other companies sold. Yeah. I'm like, she's named after I a popular she thing. She had a big doll. She was. had uh, uh, sort of that light brown hair, yeah. curly, Curls like her. and uh, the eyelids went up and down. Mm -hmm. I remember that. Yes. The, <laughs> and uh, So you had one of those. Mm -hmm. My grandfather liked the name, mm -hmm. and that's where that name came from. Yeah. I just think it's, it's it's fascinating that what she was named after is this little piece of Americana you can still find yeah. online. Mm -hmm. Well, I like the name, and he said, you know, that's a pretty name. So. Uh, now, remind me where the name Jen came from. You said you just, like, you well, looked through we, we the baby books Well, we didn't know what she We wanted find. something pretty. Huh. And um, I can't remember how he found that. He wanted Janice. And I said, well, I like the name Marie. Let's make it Janice Marie. So we did. There you go. Oh. All right, so what about Tom? Tom, he, he Thomas. Uh, the middle name had to be Arthur after my dad and my and my brother, I said. Okay. And uh, he named him Tom. And so. Where did the name come from? Out of his head. <laughs> we, I don't know. Okay. Just out of his head. Dirty Tom. Well, <laughs> I mean, the, mm -hmm. the name Dorothy came from your mother. Mm -hmm. Now, was was Larry named after his father? Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, Eugene is his middle name, which was after uh, uh, Laurie's uh, closest friend. They were friends from kindergarten all the way through Eugene and Gail Dalton. Oh. And uh, during the war, he would he was in Italy. He was a mechanic. And uh, he, uh, Jean would write and send them to Lori's uh, mother. Then she would send them to us. So uh, okay. So Larry is not technically Larry Jr. because he has a different middle name. That's right. Okay. Why name the second child after him instead of the first one? Was there? Uh, I don't know. Okay. We just did it that way. <laughs> yeah, but it's just usually I think I'm. I it's imagine, usually it's the first one. Yeah. Right. I didn't know if maybe there was any kind of story behind that. No. No story. Now, when Larry was born, was it a surprise that, you know... Which, which one? Larry. Because this, this uh, is like seven years after... Yeah, that was a surprise. And we were so thankful. Oh, we a said, good surprise, oh, is he? <laughs> And the girls, you might think it was their baby. Mm -hmm. Like Christmas. Remember? You take... You oh, yeah, and I took him shopping. And remember when he was five or a little, like Lisa's age, around, he wanted to do his own, oh, even younger, his own Christmas shopping. So he had his little money... So we went up to the um, whatever five and dime store, wherever yeah. it was called, uptown, and I he didn't want me to see. You know, he picked out some things, and then he wanted to buy something for me. So I said, okay, I'll just go over here, and he bought me. I still have it, I think, somewhere, but it's a necklace with all different stones, and um, open in the middle. Yeah. And um, he gave everybody their presents, but that it was just so cute, you know. And then you guys, when you were in school, you had the Santa Secret Workshop. So yeah, I that, still have that wasn't so good. Cool and that was nice. They had some nice stuff. I got. I'm, I'm still nice. not good at buying people presents. Hmm. Did, every right? year Christmas comes around and it stresses me out because I'm like, if my wife wanted or needed anything, I would have already gotten it for her. <laughs> I don't wait till the end of the year and like, oh, you can't have anything until December. I'm just like, yeah, I know it's if she needs like it, she has it. I hate being forced to buy stuff from people. 
Right. Christmas stresses me on her birthday, too. I eventually, after a couple of years, I just told her, you're not getting anything for your birthday. You're not getting anything for Valentine's Day. I'm not buying $60 flowers. Now, she appreciates that. That's one of the reasons she married me, because I'm smart enough not to buy $60 you flowers. Yeah. You do stuff special, so. Yes, yeah. but, you know, like, I but just told her, I'm right. like, it's just... if you want something, just tell me what it is, or just buy it yourself. Like, <laughs> And, and, yeah, I don't on. want to just guess, like, oh, her birthday's coming up. What does she want? I don't know. Like, <laughs> if she doesn't already have it, she probably doesn't want it. Like, <laughs> oh, you always do special oh. stuff. So. so I don't buy Christmas presents. Hmm. Like, I, I've bought, like, one thing for my daughter. I bought her a lightsaber. And I will teach her how to use it. <laughs> it's a sword. It's a laser sword. Mm. It's a toy from Star Wars. Star Wars. Uh-huh. So that's it. Otherwise, like, you know, she's bought her a ton of stuff. I'm like... <laughs> when she gets enough for you. Well, right. I, you know, Jenny and yeah. I have decided that we don't need to buy Elise anything. First of all, she can entertain herself with anything. Mm-hmm. You give her an open field, a cardboard box, she will entertain herself. <laughs> we don't need to spend money. You on were her. that way. Oh, I yeah. sometimes I still do remember. Very mm-hmm. much imagination. <laughs> and and Larry, your uncle Larry, I remember in one of the vivid things. He was very hyper. Mm-hmm. I thought he was hyperactive, but he wasn't. But he turned his bike his his little three-wheeler upside down and he'd go like this and yeah. the out there is just going so fast I remember thinking good grief where did he get the energy yeah. he was always running running around running 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 every place he went he was running he had a lot of energy oh. just super energy yeah but always so he was the one who was into sports yeah now, did yeah. you teach him that is it you like taught him how to play sports and... no I didn't uh, we, we he did just, stuff together uh, like the, that but there were about six boys in our street and they played together. Oh yeah. Okay. And they, they and they had they played baseball, football. Uh, Lori teams, put a basket so. up, and so they could have a basketball. And uh, he was into sports and everything. Yeah, and uh, still, he could not make the basket the football team because he was too small mm. and too thin. Mm. And uh, he wasn't some uh, big or large enough for the basketball team. And um, so he went out for track. Mm-hmm. And oh, um, yeah. and he made it. Oh, He's he fast. Like He's mm-hmm. very fast. Mm-hmm. And um, but he came home and uh, Joe, his, I can't remember his last name. Very New- well known coach, Newton. huh? Newton. Newton. Mm-hmm. Uh, he told the fellas. He says, uh, if you're going to be on my team, you have to get short hair. He <laughs> said, got cut your hair. Well, ta- Larry's was about to his shoulders. Oh, was, you know, not yeah, there. so Laurie cut it to his ears. No, wait, this is high school? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. so this would have been the mid-70s. Yeah. Right, because he was born in 59, no, so he's old enough for high school. You were born? Yeah. 50, well, 60s. he... Uh, no, not 70s, 60s. It had to be. No, no he's born, 70s. If he's no, born right. in 59. Yeah, I'm, thinking, yeah. Yeah. I'm not a mathematician, <laughs> right, right. but I can add. <laughs> no, I'm thinking but now, was Tom a long-haired hippie, too? Yeah. But both of them were. During this, we were 60s people, so we were... See, right. I had long hair, but I wasn't a hippie. I was a rocker. <laughs> well, Lori, uh, Tom wasn't a long hair until he got into college. And he came home for Thanksgiving, and I couldn't believe he had his hair in pigtail. <laughs> oh, I, I just couldn't believe that. And uh, so we had two long hairs, although uh, Larry... When he went for the best, the tr- track, uh, he had to have his hair cut, which he did. Lori cut it. So he said, Crippen, you're too, lo- you're too long. I said, short hair, get out. So he came home, and, oh, he said, I want you fellas to get a crew cut. So Lori came, uh, t- uh, t- Larry came home, and he says, what's a crew cut, Mom? <laughs> I have to get a crew cut. I said, are you sure? And he says, Yeah. And he, and so uh, I said, go to the barber. Your father <laughs> don't believe this. So he took the money and went to the barber and uh, come home, and he says, oh, I'm scalped. <laughs> 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 I'll never forget that. He, he says, I ought to have a hat. <laughs> and, and I said, he, um, he so that. the next time they were meeting with the, the coach, he went around and went like this. Years too long. I can feel it. it it's I, if I can grab it, he says it's too long. Okay. Have this cut. Wind resistance. Right. And they they did that, and then when they went to different schools to to run, he says when you come in, he says you wear slacks, shirt, tie, and sport coat, and uh, he says no jeans, 
And he said, if you do, you don't, won't go. So they, we, they were always dressed. And so when they won, they went down to southern Illinois. And uh, so they went, he went to this one uh, motel, and he says, I need mo a motel for my boys. He looked out, oh, yes, Elmhurst, you're welcome. He says, they wouldn't take Maywood. Uh, what was the other yeah, one? Yeah, Maywood, I can understand. Uh, because they wore sweatshirts and, you know, stuff like that, and they acted that way. Mm -hmm. The coach said, you're dressed, you act that way. Mm -hmm. And he says, you're a gentleman. I want no noise. And so he says, uh, and so he took him. He says, the, uh, the fella said, uh, Lori, uh, Larry heard him say, I can't believe how you've got these boys trained. Mm -hmm. Well, then we had to go to a, where they got their, their uh, sweaters and their, their uh, things. And, and, of course, they wore suits, and the other ones came sweatshirts with their poor folks. Mm -hmm. And uh, they got their sweaters, and uh, so uh, it was. It was really something to it's see. Classy and and winning uh, team. Coach hmm? Newman, Coach Newton was well known all over the. Yes, well, he was also Illinois, helping the uh, F uh, the Olympics. Did you yeah, know that? Yeah, I heard yeah. He, he was amazing. Yeah, he, he remembered was amazing. Larry. Everybody wanted him. Yeah, so. I got a, he wrote a book after, I mean, because he was so well known. Mm. And so I went and got a copy and had him, went over, drove over to the high school and had him sign it. And I said, This is for my brother's name is Larry Crippen. He goes, Larry, how's he doing? You know, he remembered him. I said, yeah. You remember him? He says, Oh, yeah. And talked about him. And yeah. I told Larry that. So he says, All these guys, and he remembers things about people. Yeah. So he was quite a guy. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well known. Okay. Well, it's gotten us into the 70s now. Now, when is the first grandchild born? Uh, Sherry. Sherry. Sherry is 53. So deduct 53 from 219. I'd okay, say. I can't do math that well. Uh, <laughs> well, wait a minute. She's, she's 53 now? She's 53, I think. So it'll is be. Is she or is she 52? She's oh. either 52 or 53. It would have been early mid seventies then. Grant yeah, was born in seventy yeah, five. Because um, it was before you guys. Because I went up there. I was up there. Actually, it might have been before. It might have been uh, very end of the sixties, maybe. We got to bust out the calculator and do some math here, people. Right. I I can't do it. I'm a cartoonist who plays with puppets. I can't subtract. Hold on, it's 2019. 1966, so I would oh, have college. 66, 67, because I was married. Wait so it was so before I was married. That means Larry's only seven years older than her? Is that right? That would make sense, yeah. Yeah, because, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. Okay. Because uh, Patsy called once and she said, she said you know, I'm not going to get to know my brother. He said, "Why don't you bring him up and let me spend a weekend with him?" So we, I, I talked to Larry and I asked him if he wanted to go up there and see with uh, his cousins, and he said, "Well, okay." And I said, uh, it's, "And then we'll pick you up Sunday. Grandpa and I, or Dad and I, will come and get you." Okay. So uh, we went up there. It was a Friday night after work and spent the whole day Saturday with him, and then Sunday we started to go home, and he said, I'm going home too. I'm not going to stay here. I don't know anybody. And I said, okay, all right. And Patsy talked him into staying, and I'm so, uh, I said, now, if you don't want to stay, uh, Pat and I will meet halfway, and I'll, br and I'll come and get you tomorrow. Okay. All right. Now, was she married and living in Kalamazoo at this point? Yeah, oh yeah, she was married. Yeah. They had Jeff and uh, and Sherry. They were seven and, what is Jeff, five? I think, I think it's two or three years younger. Yeah, two or three. I can't remember. And uh, so I called the next morning, and uh, she, uh, no, I called in the afternoon because I couldn't get her in the morning. She had taken them to the nature center and showed them that and went to different places. So I called in the afternoon. They just finished lunch. And I said, now, what time are we going to come and uh, pick you up, hon? He says, no, I'm staying. 
I, I thought, good. <laughs> Patsy was so happy. She kept them busy playing with the kids and doing, taking them different places. And so they got acquainted because he really didn't know his sister. Mm -hmm. You know, she's yeah, one place. Right, right. Then they come in for for Christmas, mm -hmm. uh, you know, stuff. So, and, uh, so what year did uh, Pat and Rich get married? Uh, well, they've been married uh, 53 years, hasn't it? 50? Well, uh, it can't be 53 if... if Sherry's 53. Oh, well, Sherry can't be so, 53 then. Uh -huh. um, you know, they had a, didn't they? I don't keep track of their... Well, how, it was something how like old 60. was she when she got married? Was it right out of high school? Mm, no. no. Maybe no. Yeah, she went to nursing. She college. went into nurses training. After. He went to college. He was a year ahead of her. But she was in nurses training still when they got married. Yeah. So that was her so last was year of nurses well, training. 19 or 20 at the most. Yeah. Just a minute. I'll tell you when Sherry was born. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, I think I have it here. So. It's a lot of housekeeping 60, that goes into this. Let's see, she graduated, what, 62? Well, she's born in 43. So she turns 20 in 63. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so. So maybe it was 63. Oh, I don't have it in this. I have to get my other yeah, book. She was married pretty young. Well, she, they were married, what, three years, and she was born. Because, let's see, they, they lived on Fine View, first in an apartment. So. Well, do you, do you remember how old Larry was when they got married? Was he a toddler? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that fits the time scheme there. So. Okay, so this story that you just told where he goes to visit them, he's, what, uh, like in the neighborhood of 10? No, no, not that old. Younger. Oh, no, younger than No, he was, he had to be... Six, five, or six. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, oh my yeah. goodness. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, and she already had... She had Sherry. I don't know Sherry if she had Jeff. Been... Did she have okay. Jeff then? I don't remember. We'd, Jeff I'd have to ask yeah, Pat. He so might have been just a baby. But... We'll have to get Pat in here. Yeah, we'll have to yeah. yeah you'll have, have to talk to her stories. about that. Hmm. Okay. I remember when we went out when I took Larry out the first time. And... Uh, because when he started his business, she worked nights as a nurse, mm -hmm. and because uh, he had it in his uh, office or in his basement, and uh, when he got enough <coughs> money going, why then um, he got his office, his building, and started hiring people, and then um, kept going, and then as soon as he had enough money, where he was making it, and he could have a decent salary. He told Patty, he says, how much do you make a year? And she told him, okay, I give myself this raise. And he says, there it is. So they, he made an awful lot of money, and he's still working. But Jeff is also working with him. He quit. He was teaching in college, and he quit because uh, he uh, was going to help his dad. So... Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> you alright? Need some water? <clears throat> Do you need a drink? I got it here. You got it? Okay. Where are we at here? Alright, it's, it's almost, almost noon. noon. So, alright, that's taking us up into the 60s. So, um, we'll call this a wrap because I got to go do other work. But yeah. uh, over the next week, mm -hmm. I want you to think about stories about your kids when they were in high school and it, especially stories that they don't want me to know <laughs> there are there really wasn't that much we there, were, it wasn't, they, they were good well, in school then maybe she doesn't even know <laughs> do you have to ask them what they yeah, did yeah exactly because you know we well didn't. I just didn't think you'd be that good at getting away with stuff <laughs> well you see that look she knows what I'm talking about <laughs> we really didn't they, you know why because they always said we trust you that's right. We, we, we did. talked about you did because you know, we yeah, said you know, absolutely. Like, we we trusted oh, them movies. completely. And you, mom, would always say, "Well, we trust you." We're going, oh darn! <laughs> 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 no, really, we'd say that to each other, like, "Well, she said she trusts us, so now we have to." <laughs> well, there we, really we, wasn't much we, to get in we, trouble they, for. I don't think they ever lied to us. We did, we didn't we expect didn't. any lies or no, or complete trust. 
right. because that's the way we felt towards them. And there wasn't any big stuff to get into. We, I mean, there wasn't. I mean, if there was drugs, we certainly didn't do that, and we didn't drink. And no, didn't smoke. Not then. But so. <laughs> <laughs> there it goes. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, we had we we were busy with our youth group. I mean, mm-hmm. we were very involved with our youth group. We had a big youth group. They so had a very a stuff very groups. nice one there at church. Yeah, we had yeah. A lot of group stuff, and um, so the three of us, when we were in high school together, we had a lot of stuff we did together. Well, you you still see your friends from uh, yeah, some of them did. from uh, church. Yeah. yeah, yeah, one of them especially. No, they're doing All right, now we're talking about other people's families. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm going to cut it off and we'll come back next week. Cut it out.